Yes, cinnamon. Snowflake is like uh, is Snowflake is a data cloud data warehouse. It's a cloud based cloud data, data warehouse. Okay, mainly for OLTP or OLAP. Mainly for OLAP. Is it for OLAP? OLAP. OLAP is nothing but what? Online, Online. analytical processing. Pro Processing okay, mainly for historical data. Historical data, okay. See what about OLTP? OLTP is for online, online transaction. transaction processing. Okay, yes. this is for what this is for database. Okay, yes. and this is for data warehouse. Okay, see yes. Snowflake is a cloud based data warehouse, so mainly for historical data. Now it is for mainly for data storage data processing and data analytics okay so this is like you should understand the basics okay should be strong okay. so data storage data processing and data analytics okay the same thing now what happened now this is for what okay now after completion of this course what is the role we are going to apply uh, snowflake what? developer so snowflake developer or snowflake data engineer okay so snowflake developer or snowflake data engine okay along this what are the team members just high level tell me what the team members will have along this what are the team members will have anyone in there what are the team members team members um, we have a uh, snowflake developers and a snowflake admin okay then and a snowflake architect okay so and snowflake have... developer snowflake developers okay there will have like okay just highlight okay see there will be like okay junior guys senior resource will be there then and then snowflake, so ah um, uh, then uh, admin snowflake architect and the team leader and manager Okay, see the same thing. Now what happened? Snowflake developer, Snowflake admin, then Snowflake architect. And then we are having what we are having? Okay, so testing team. Then, so BA, what is BA? So BA is nothing but what? Business, business analyst. Business analyst. Okay, so then BA, BA team is nothing but what? Business intelligence. Business intelligence team. Okay, or reporting. Okay, so reporting team. Okay, like this high level, you should see, then we will go for okay. See, okay, this is the thing. Okay, now next step is that what? Okay, now question is that what? Okay, now Snowflake is mainly for what is the scope of the project? Scope of the project is what? It's a uh, what is the thing? It's a data migration, migration project. Okay, so what is exactly it means? Tell me data migration project in the sense like what? Moving the data from one data source to another. Okay, so moving the data from one data source to another snowflake. data another okay to snowflake okay to snowflake okay so high level you should understand again okay, then only you can able to get what exactly we're trying to okay see so snowflake is mainly for data migration project okay moving the data from one data source to snowflake here data to source can be what it can be oracle database okay then sql server then post degree mysql there are so many data sources, okay. So Terra data, okay, or Hadoop. So we are moving all this data from different data sources and putting into Snowflake. Now tell me why we want to put into Snowflake. Reason is what? What is the reason? What is the reason why we want to put all this into Snowflake? Reason is what? Anyone? Why why the company wants to move the data to? Reason is that what? Because um for performance. And cost cutting okay mainly for what it can store huge volume of data so mainly for performance okay see one second mainly for what mainly for so why company wants to move to on-premises to cloud so mainly for cost cutting or infrastructure okay so in infrastructure maintenance will be managed by snowflake only then huge volumes then one is that what okay performance okay because of these reasons Company on premises data they are trying to migrate. Okay, so remember these are the resume points. Okay, they last. Okay, so can explain our project. Okay, see our project will be like this thing. Okay, so so data will be there in different sources. So from here we need to take this data and we should put into Snowflake tables. Snowflake tables. Okay, so this is nothing but 
So our job is that as a Snowflake developer, we should bring the data from different sources and put into Snowflake with the help of data pipelines, data pipelines. Okay, see, our role is like data engineer is nothing but what bringing data from different sources and place into Snowflake with the help of Snowflake data pipelines. Okay, so this is now tell me. So you are saying like data migration is fine. Now tell me what are the components? What are the database objects we are trying to migrate? Database objects, which type of database object we are trying to migrate? I know. Which type of database object we are trying to migrate? Anyone? So saying like okay, so on premises to cloud. That's, that's fine. Okay, so which type of objects? Tables. Tables. Then use. 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 Then Functions. Functions. And functions. functions and procedures. Okay, so, so the requirement is that what? Okay, our tables suffer like this is Oracle database. Okay, see, Oracle is the data source. Okay, so now this tables data I want to move to Snowflake, the same standard. Okay, suppose like you're having different data type, we should change this data type, it should work in the Snowflake one more time. Suppose like in Oracle, we are having Okay, we're having one data type. This data type is not supported in Snowflake. Then we should change the data type according to the Snowflake. Then we should migrate. Same thing, the processor also the same thing. Okay, so we're having the code. Okay, so for like here, 10 lines of code. This 10 lines of code, one line is not working then. So we should tweak this code so that it should work in the Snowflake database. Okay, one more time. This is nothing but database migration. This is like got tables, views, functions, and process. It can be in phases. Okay, so phase one, phase two. Like this, okay. So if you have no like this thing, when you go to any project, so phase one, they'll try to migrate tables. Phase two, they're trying to migrate views. In the phase three, they try to migrate which one? So functions and procedures, okay, like this way. Okay, so slowly you should understand. So what is our role? As a Snowflake developer, what we want to do? Okay, as a Snowflake developer, we want to migrate all this data base object into Snowflake with the, with the standards of Snowflake. Okay, one more time. As a Snowflake developer, we need to bring all this data to one place. Now tell me why you want to do, bring all this data to maintain, okay, historical data to perform, see what happened. So see, to reduce cost cutting, huge volumes, performance, okay. See, data should be stored in historical data. Tell me why we want to store historical data. What's the purpose of storing the historical data? Reason, anyone? For an analysis purpose. For analysis, uh, like uh, reporting. Come again. So I say for future, okay, for we need to create KPIs. KPIs, okay, see KPIs, nothing but what's it? Key performance, performance indicator, key. indicator. Okay, so these are the indicator or key insights, okay. Key insights, nothing but what? So where I'm getting the more number of profits, more number of sales, less number of sales. These insights will be performed using this reason. Okay, now this is fine. Next step is that word, okay, for future, future forecasting. Okay, so these things, okay, so. So because of all this thing, we should maintain the data. Okay, so I'll see this image. So let's go back here. So ultimately what we should do this thing. Okay, see ultimately. Now see this what happened. Now we should write the query such a way that, okay, so we should go total number of sales. Okay, profit quantity. Now data is there in different sources. As a Snowflake developer, we should bring all this data to one place so that we can able to, okay. Now question is that what? Now, how can we communicate with the Snowflake? Tell me, how can I communicate the Snowflake? Mm, tell me how we are communicating the Snowflake. Through SQL. <clears throat> Through SQL, okay, so SQL, okay. So what is SQL? What is SQL? Structured query language. Structured query language. language. Okay, so to where you'll see, like, okay, SQL starting from day one. Okay, so go for pain. One simple example, I try to say. Okay. So basics should be strong. Okay, you should know from day one what is our role. Okay, as a Snowflake developer, what we are trying to do. Okay, so what's the purpose of SQL? Why are you trying to do SQL learning SQL? Okay, see, assume this is Pravin. Okay, so you should know the paint, all these things. Okay, okay Pravin and Kumar. Now tell me, I want to communicate with Kumar. How can I communicate? Tell me how to communicate with Kumar by using what concept? Kumar, okay, so by using a language. Okay, see, by using a language. It can be what? It can be Telugu in the English. Same thing, no, same thing. Now we're having Pravin is there and here database is there, okay, see? So Pravin and here database. So database can be what? It can be Oracle database. Or a skill server or Snowflake. Snowflake is also access database and data warehouse. Okay. Now see what happened. Now tell me, I want to communicate database. Now here also what required a language. 
Tell me Telugu English will work. Now, what type of language will you hear? What type of language? SQL. Okay, SQL. Okay, let's see. So this is important. Okay, now what happened? So this this these are human beings. They can able to communicate by using language. Same thing. Now here, human being and the system or database or data warehouse. How they are communicating? They are also using language that is called SQL. Simply SQL is nothing but it's a structured query language. It is used to what communicate with the database and the data warehouse. Getting the point, sir? So see one more time. I want to communicate with the data warehouse or Snowflake by using SQL. Simply SQL acts as a bridge between user and database. Okay, so bridge between user and database. Same thing, suppose like if you take English, what will happen? English will have alphabet. Same thing in SQL also will have alphabets are called as statements or languages or commands or basic building blocks of SQL. Tell me anyone what the basic building blocks of SQL we're having. These are important. If you know this thing, almost like 30% of SQL is completed. Tell me. Mm. What are the things? Mm. What are the things we're having? DDL, DML, DCL, TCL. Okay, sir. DDL, DML, mm. TCL, then DRL, or DQL, then one more thing is DCL. Okay, DCL. so these are the SQL statements, or SQL language, or SQL comments, our basic building blocks of SQL. Okay. The so same details, nothing but what's called as data. Or tell me data. Definition language. Definition language. Okay. What about DML? So data, data manipulation, manipulation, language. manipulation language. Manipulation, not modification, it's a manipulation language. So D T is transaction. Transaction. Control, control language. language. Okay, I'll see the same. Okay, so today also tomorrow you'll see the same thing. So understand this. Okay, these are very, very important. Without this, we can't able to go further on SQL. Okay. So DRL is nothing but data. Uh, tell me DRL. Retrieval. Retrieval language. So retrieval or queue is nothing but it's called as query. Query language. Okay. Yeah. So once you see the concept, you'll go for real time use case. Then you'll get idea. Okay. What is DRL? This is data. Data, data control, control language. language. Control language. Okay. So DDL definition, manipulation, transactions, retrieval or query or DCL. Okay, we'll see step by step. Okay, now we'll see DDL, data definition language. Okay, so these are the base, that's why they call basic building blocks of SQL. Okay, without this, we can't able to go further. Okay, see, we're having what? Uh, tell me what are the comments you're having in DDL? Anyone? Create insert. Insert will come up. No, create drop. Create alter drop. Okay, see create. Okay, then alter. Alter is man manipulation. No, no. I said data. Create hmm. alter then. No, drop. Drop. Not truncate. So drop. Okay, tell me truncate is a detail or DML in Snowflake? It is a DML. It is a, anyone tell me DML. DDL or DML? DML. Okay, it's a, it's a what? It's a DM. We'll see what exactly. Okay, so, so we'll see step by step. Okay, what about DML? Anyone in India? So we'll see one more time. Tell me DML. We'll complete this thing. So data. Select, select. Data select. manipulation. Select will come up. Yeah, it will come. In the, no. Okay, no, it won't. Insert to delete update. Insert. Mm, tell me anyone. Insert, Insert update. Delete. Insert, update, update, delete, update, delete. Okay, so delete, right. update, truncate. One second, one second. Okay, see the same thing. Insert, update, delete. Oh, one more thing. What are you having? One more comment. That is. Merge and Merge. truncate is also DML here. Okay, see. So see getting the point, sir. Okay, now see the same thing. Insert, update, delete, merge and truncate. Okay. Now go back here. Now see the one more time. Now DDL. So don't get confused. Okay, these are main thing. Okay, so data definition language. So create, alter, drop. Tell me what is create will do? Create. What exactly create, create will do? Table or Create database or tables. It is used to create 
where can where can we'll see what is the difference okay later on okay why can well which one will use okay so text are the same thing you can also say okay. now see the same thing control c control n control v. okay now tell me this is good looking huh? so see so before that this is notepad plus plus two so go for language okay whenever writing any code no or any queries write in notepad plus plus go to language so this is the coding practice language s and sql one more time go to the language s and sql so you're getting to see what happened now see this is not getting any color okay when i go for language s and sql so keyword is getting highlighted and bracket open bracket close see this is not correct okay see always follow coding alignment okay see we should follow the coding alignment okay so we should follow like this okay so like this okay so it will take some time but it will be good looking okay so you should follow like this okay when you're writing it okay now tell me what about salary is what a type salary it is number data type okay number data copy the same thing. now question is that what when i write here what happened tell me it will create a table get created automatically no first we need database now what happened tell me so see so this is for writing purpose only now tell me if i want to create what should be compulsory we should have one database okay see one second we'll see one second I'll try to explain Now see when I try to create what happened saying it's saying see. Okay, so space. Now see cannot perform create table. This session doesn't have a current database. So see, remember one thing. Now this is what okay, this is writing purpose. Now compulsory what we should want to create a table, we should have one database. Okay, so database. So database nothing but what? So collection of tables. Collection of, of tables. Tables or any or database objects okay so database objects okay so first we should have one database then schema should be there then we should have tables now tables. see one more thing now what is it snowflake is a SaaS model what is SaaS? that is SaaS software, as a service. software as a service what exactly means anyone you'll see the difference uh, tell me what is SaaS? snowflake we don't need to create any software or we don't need to install anything uh, tell me software as a service nothing but what Everything will be handled by the so Snowflake. The service Third provider. Party. Okay, so everything service everything provider. will be handled by service provider. Okay, so service provider is nothing but what here is called as Snowflake. Okay, see. So understand the difference. Okay, Snowflake provider SaaS but software as a service nothing but what everything will be provided by service managed by managed by okay service provider or snowflake snowflake everything is nothing but what the infrastructure okay so the installation the maintenance okay the patching everything will be managed by what okay so everything managed by snowflake only just to we need to create account and what we need is? to access those mm -hmm. things the same thing same thing suppose like take ola or uber what will happen tell me ola or uber what will happen just we need uh wish book the cab and we use so just we should book the cab and we need to use okay so for one hour if i use now we should pay one hour service same thing okay so tell me mm -hmm. we do we need to give to the patrol charge all this do we don't need okay just everything my way so the providers just we are using the services same thing so we are using the computation and storage in snowflake one more time so see snowflake is nothing but for mainly for computation for processing and storage is nothing but so tables will be stored okay computation but so queries okay so query we're trying to process okay so we'll have computation cast and storage cast in snowflake okay see one more time snowflake is a SaaS model software as a service everything will manage by service provider the infrastructure the installation maintenance okay just we need to create account we need to access those things getting a little bit at least so clear so far see now what happened now try to create one snowflake account so just now now tell me do, do, do we need to install anything no okay now what we should use so now so try to search for snowflake login okay see snowflake login. same thing now start for free okay now give the basic details okay Praveen. snowflake okay see mail okay so we should give one mail okay so give this mail id 
So just we should have one email ID. Okay, that's it. Thank you. So give the mail ID. So company ABC. Tell me what is our role. We need to apply after completion of this course. Snowflake developer or data engineer. Okay, so put anything, but okay, so for an example, we said Snowflake developer or data engineer. So same thing, continue. Now see, they are having so many editions. Standard edition, enterprise edition, business critical. Now tell me one more time. So what are the editions we are having? Anyone? Any idea? So we are having standard yes. edition. Standard okay. enterprise. Okay, standard enterprise. Enterprise and business, business critical. critical. Okay, so business critical. Then one more thing is there. Okay. Virtual private. So VPS, private. virtual, so private, private. snowflake. Okay. So don't worry, these are like basic, okay, virtual, so private, snowflake, okay. So see, we can able to go for standard. So, okay, for learning purpose, you should go for enterprise edition. Now say what I say, no, snowflake supports, what? Multi-cloud, okay, yes, Microsoft, multi -cloud. Amazon service. Yeah, yeah. Click on anything, no issues, okay, see. So AWS, okay, see. So click on this thing, there are so many regions that you can select anything, so Singapore, click on this, okay, so. We are going for enterprise edition, so multi cloud and region. In region, you can also get started. So we can able to skip the same thing. Okay, so skip. So skip. So see, we'll get one confirmation. Okay, see, understand this concept is that we are using mostly we are using enterprise edition in the real time project. Okay, for large scale application. Okay, enterprise edition. And we are using what? Okay, we are using like AWS cloud or Azure. RGCP depends on the company. Okay, so these are important. Okay, AWS, Azure, RGCP. So clear us so far. In what says no, in one. Yes or no? So like this way, these are the basics yeah. you should be you should be strong. Okay. See, these are important. Okay, resume the last okay. So which type of edition you work in your current project? Okay. So what is the cloud? Okay, we're using AWS, Azure, or GCP. So clear us so far. Now go back here. Now we'll get one confirmation mail to us. So see, we'll get activate. So click to activate. Okay, now we should give the basic. Okay, can you give any name? So, just now, see, we are doing anything, just we are trying to create one account and we are using these things. Okay, got the point? Huh? Okay, see what happened? Just we are trying to create. That's why it's called as SaaS. No need to install any software or hardware. Just we need to create account and we need to access those things. Okay, clear so far? This is clear so far? Yes, fine. Okay. Now what? Before that, we need to go. We need to say that. Okay. So Snowflake can be logged in multiple ways. It can be Snow Site. Okay, Snow Site. These are the basics. Okay, don't worry. Okay, like it will take some time. It will be one or two classes. It will be okay. Snow Site. Then Classic Console. And Snow SQL, Snow SQL. Okay, so Snowflake can be logged by Snow Set Classic Console. This is the Snow Set. We are using Snow Set application. Okay, now so click for plus symbol SQL worksheet. Okay, now why we are trying to do because I want to create one table. Okay, see, go back here, copy this table and try to create. So go back here now. Try to create. Okay, see, now try to create. What happened? Saying. Now, what issue tell me? Issue is that what? Anyone? What's the issue? There is space issue? between EMP and school. Uh, after okay. Name. okay, see? Okay, so syntax error, unexpected name. See, now what happened? Spaces is not allowed. We should use, okay, see, like this. No, it's not good. We should use underscore. Okay, so employee ID, employee name. Now, see what happened? Now, syntax is correct. You see, cannot perform create table. This session doesn't have a current database. Use database or use a full qualifier. In the sense, like what? If you want to create any table, what should be there? We need to create a database. Okay, so first we should create one database. So syntax for creation of database is that what? Anyone? So create database. Database, database name. Database name. Okay, so before that, tell me if you have. Okay, so daily, what will have? Which call will have? Daily will have? Which type of call will have? Scrum, scrum call. call. Scrum call. Okay, see, scrum call. Okay, see. Stand up meeting will be there. Okay, so Scrum Master, what they're trying to give? What they're trying to give? One, zero user story. Suppose like user story. Okay, now requirement is that what? Okay, one story has been assigned to, to my name. So Praveen, okay, what's saying? It's saying to create one employee 
table. Okay, suppose like, okay, so client is asking to create one employee table. Tell me directly we'll create in that production database. Huh? Tell me. No. No, it is not possible. No. Okay, then where we should create? You can create in development area. Development area, what development area? Database. Development database. Okay, we should create what? So dev database. Okay, see, remove one thing. Whenever you get any Jira ticket or something, no, compulsory we should use what? We should use which environment? We should use the we should use what? Development dev environment. Dev environment. Okay, see, dev environment. Okay, see, first whenever you're getting no compulsory, we should go for development database. Okay, after this, we should go for test, test. or UAT Testing. or sandbox. Okay, or we'll go for production. Okay, so this is the follow we should start. Okay, so getting a little bit. Okay, so like this way, we should go step by step. Okay, so when you're getting any requirement now, okay, follow. Okay, so getting the points of tell me why we need to do in the development database. Why you want to do in the development database? We need to perform the testing on everything. If everything is fine, then we can go for the next unit. Okay, now why can't you do in the production? No, we can't to avoid do to avoid to avoid business. Uh... Okay, suppose like by mistakenly I deploy in the production, something happened, then what happened? Enter application will be business will be done. Okay, see it will be yeah. broken. Okay, okay, see it will be done. Okay, see so in the sense like what end users cannot able to user application access the application. Okay, that's why. So practice is that what whenever you get any requirement, we should work in the development database. After rigorous testing, we should move to the different environments. Okay, see. So first we should get what development database okay step by step you should learn okay there first you should be comfortable with this ua first you create one account let's try to the same thing okay now what happened now try to create the database okay see create database suppose like so dev db suppose like say enterprise data warehouse so development database as you know edw segment enterprise data warehouse development db okay see this is what so click on this thing so see database has been created so forget about this thing we'll see later point no coding practice that what next we should create one schema schema yeah. so create schema so adw development schema okay schema. See, development scheme okay so database name schema name okay so i refresh the same thing now we'll get database schema there are no objects now tell me what is my current database so we should make some select current database okay see database same thing if you want to see the schema current schema okay so okay see now we are in okay edw development database development schema now in this database now any tables are we should go for show tables okay this keyword you should understand okay show tables as of now there is no records are there okay getting a little bit at least so first what what we have created tell me first we create snowflake account it's a SaaS model, just we're creating the account, we're trying to work. Next step is that what? Create one database, one schema, then go for tables. So this is what? So development database, so development schema. So this is a practice, okay? So zero ticket, so scrum curl. Okay, so zero ticket. We'll try to work on this user stories like this, okay? So Snowflake account, development database, development schema, tables. Now what happened? Now try to create the table. So copy the same thing. Now try to create. So see, table has been created successfully. Now uh, how to see list of tables? Just now discuss how to see list of tables by using which command? Uh, tell me. Show tables. Show tables. Show tables. Show tables. tables. Okay, see? So see, if you know, refresh the same thing. Now see, in the database, in the schema, we're getting one object, okay, see? Now show tables, show tables, okay. Now before that, tell me, this is what command? Create is what command? Which type of command say? It's a DDL, DDL. DDL, data definition. Definition language. language. Okay, so now what happened? Now I want to see the data. How can I see the data by using what command? By using DRL or DQL, that is data retrieval, or data query Gorilla. language. Got the point? See, okay, so I want to see the data. Okay, link expiring, come back. Same link will be there. Now, by using select statement, select, okay, see, select star from table. Okay, see, table. step by step. Now, see what happened. Oh, nothing record. Okay, see, just we created one database, one schema, table created, 
by using select statement, we are seeing the data. As you know, there is no data is there. Okay, so data, Snowflake account is a SaaS model. We are using what? Snowsite UI, go for development database, development schema, and the tables has been created. Now, by using how we are using? By using DDL, that is which command? By using create, create. Next, by using select statement, that is DRL, we are seeing the data. So link expiring, come back, link expiring, come back. Getting a little bit at least. Yes, come back. We'll see. Now see what happened. Okay, so now what? What see? This is DRL, data retrieval language. That is select statement, data retrieval or data query language. Getting the points a little bit. Now requirement is that what? Okay, one second. So step by step, we should go like this. Okay, then it's possible to learn. Okay, see. Next requirement is that what? Okay, so now one more. One second. Okay, so one more requirement. Okay, so one more Jira story is that what? I want to add new column. Suppose like, so client is asking to add department ID column. Now tell me which console will come into picture? Department ID. Now I want to change the existing definition. Now I want to say we should go for what concept? Anyone? DDL concept. DDL that concept. DDL. What command is in DDL? We are going for what? Alter. Alter, okay, see, remember one thing. So right now we're discussing DDL, data, data what? So data definition language, okay, see, which command we're using? So we're using create is nothing but what? So to create a new table in the database, okay, this is fine. What about next command is that what? Okay, so table has been, now I want to do the modification. So in a sense like what? I want to add extra column, now see, employee ID, Employee name, date of birth, mail, salary. Now I want to add extra column that is department ID. How can I do by using what command? By using alter. Tell me what alter is nothing but what? What is alter will do? Alter is for either what? we can add either we can add the column or we can modify the column in the particular table. Okay, so in the existing table, table should be there. We can able to add a new column or drop an existing column or change the data type okay or data length okay so or rename the column okay we can able to do anything okay see we can able to add extra column okay so or drop the existing column or change the name from one name to the other or change data okay this is nothing but simple thing alter suppose like i purchase a shirt its size is m but my size is yes now what i should do i should go to the tailor and what i should do i should do the alteration same thing now what happened Already table is said that, but I want to, requirement is that what? I want to change the definition. Then we'll go for alter, alter, okay, see? Alter, table, so table name, add column name, data type. Okay, this is a syntax, okay, see? Alter, table, table name, so see the same thing. Now, first what? Table should be there, okay, see? Alter, table, table name, add, suppose like department, ID, it's a what? It's a what data type? Department ID? A department is what? Say? Num number. Either number or integer. Okay, number or integer. Now, question is that what? Employee ID, employee name, date of birth, male salary. The new column where it will get added at the starting or middle or at the last in Snowflake? Which it where it will add at the portion of this new column? Last. It will add at the last of the last. Column. Okay, see. Okay, now see. Okay, statement executed successfully. Now go back here. Now see how can you see that by using selection. That is data retrieval or data query. Let's see, it is added at the last. Suppose like tell me when I try to execute one more time, work, I'm using control enter is the keyword. Control. So, so control plus enter is the keyword or we can able to use the run. Okay, see. So control. Now tell me second time, work. Tell me. Not column name is already there. Now I went to exit one more time. It will work or it will throw error? No, it doesn't work. See, it will throw error. See what's saying? Error. Column already, already exists. Already exists. Okay, so get in the points. In the same table, so see we can. Okay, now I'm adding one more column. See what happened? It will be added at the last. Now I want to drop this column. How can you drop this column? Uh, using what? So alter table, table name. Table, table drop, name. Column, drop column. Drop column. column. Column name, that's it. Okay, so this is the syntax. Now see. So column spell. Okay, see. 
dropped. Okay, now see what happened. So this is not there. Okay, see. So create is nothing but it is used to create a new table in the existing database. Alter is nothing but what? It is to change the definition of the table with the existing already tables there. We are trying to change the definition. Okay, we are trying to add a new column, all the things we are trying to. So getting a little bit at least clearer so far. Now suppose like client is asking, I don't want this table, then I don't want how, how to do which makes a what command? You can drop. So drop. Okay, see. So one more command is that drop. It is used to it is used to remove the database object from the database okay now what happened syntax is that what okay drop table table, table name. okay same thing now go back here now drop so table so table name okay see now what happened so table drop now see what happened now this will be there it won't be says so it will say does not exist okay see now what happened one more time now see the same thing now go back here refresh this value now see there is no data okay so create is nothing but it is used to create a new database object alter is just nothing but it is used to change the definition okay existing table drop is nothing but what we are trying to remove the database object clear so far get the point sir as of now discuss what so ddl data definition language is create alter and drop so one more time so these are important that's why these are called as basic building blocks of sql so definition so data, so definition language. What are the commands we're having in this thing we're having? So create, alter, and alter, drop. drop. Okay, what create will do? Create is what it will do? Create? Create new database on YouTube. It is to create database objects in the database. New database objects. It can be database, it can be anything. What is alter? It is used to modify the existing database Alumni. database objects okay it is used to it is used to what it is used to remove the existing database mm. object it can be anything table or view or anything okay so same thing okay so so see right now we're discussing table it is used to create a new table it is used to okay change the existing definition of the table it is used to exist in dropping the table clear so far now we'll see one use case so that we'll get some idea okay now suppose like I'm trying to open simple example. I'm trying to open COVID application. Simple example. Now I'm trying to give the phone number. Now what happened? So this application has been okay. Now I'm clicking add member. Now suppose like understand this concept. Now I'm giving some basic details of Pravin. So 2000. So other card, I'm giving like this. Now tell me, suppose like when I click on add, what will happen generally? Anyone, what will happen generally? What will happen generally? It will insert the one record in the particular background in the particular database or table. Okay, so for what happened when I click on this No data will be shown in Tables, tables where it is stored in the in the database. First, we should have one. One we should have one Covin database. Then Covin schema. Then how the database store? Tell me. In the format table. of tables. Okay, now we should create one table. Okay, see now what happened? Understand this use case. Now try to create. Okay, we'll see. Now try to create one database. Okay, this one here. Yeah. So now try to create one database. Okay, so create. So create database. So suppose like Covin database. So database has been created. Now we need to create one own schema. So create schema. After saying mute yourself, Covin schema. So see, so database. So see database name, schema name. Now what happened? Now try to create one table. So create. So table, now tell me what table name can you give for this use case? What table name can you use for this use case? Which registration? Employee registration. Huh? Oh, oh no, Co COVID. So see what happened. So see, this is for registration for action. So we can say, so create table COVID vaccine 
registration registration underscore t what is underscore t it's a table, table. it's a table okay now what are the columns we can able to use? name name is what a type so what a type where can where can we'll see the thing is and everything where care i'm putting 30 now we'll see what exactly that is there name is there what about this gender gender what the thing gender, gender is what care Okay, so male, female say where care only. Okay, we'll putting where care. Okay, same thing. Now what happened? Here about is what data? Here about date. Data. Date. This is not date. See the same thing. Oh, int. So this is number or in because no 2000. Okay, 1998. Okay, see, see what happened. So these are the this is nothing but say they it's a what is a number or date. Number. Number. Okay. Say it's a number. Okay. Go back here. It's a now date of birth. It's a number. Okay. What the column? The date of birth. So the year of birth. So year of birth. Year of birth is a number data type. Suppose like I change from so 2011. Okay. Now tell me this is what? This is what? Date of birth. This is what data type? Number or date? Date time. It's a date. Okay, date. Okay, see, comma, date of birth is date. So, all, for always follow the coding alignment. Okay, see, so date of birth, say what date? Tell me what's date of birth, say. See, or what date? Tell me what's date? Date time or time stamp. Date time or uh, time stamp. Okay, now they'll put, remember, tell me, everybody remember time stamp. Huh? No, we can't have, okay, we'll go for date on because no, it's not called remember time. Now everybody can't have remember the time exact time. Okay, so it's a date. It's a date data type. Okay. So go back here. So this is fine. Okay, now photo ID proof. I'm putting other card. Photo ID proof is what data tell me? Photo ID proof. Where care? Where Why are where care? Uh, in the pan card, there will be alpha and numeric, right? Okay, suppose like if I select for other number, no, what happened to you? Only number. Okay, suppose like if I put a number, okay, see, it's a, it's a where care. Okay? I'm putting photo ID value. I'd say, what it's a number. number. Suppose like user selected instead of other card, he selected passport. Now, passport is what? It's a combination of alpha and numeric. It's a combination of alpha and numeric. Now, tell me it'll work. Huh? It won't work. Now, what happened? We should change. No, that's why. We should write a code such a way that it should work for all the use cases. No, we should go for where care. Where care. care. Okay. So like this very more one thing by seeing because we are data engineers. Okay. Seeing this data, we should say this is not number because so it will work for only for other. But when I selected for different things, now what happened? It's a combination of numbers and these things will be there. Clear so far? Yes or no? And we should follow see coding alignment. Okay, see coding. Yes, so. From day one, you should become like, okay, so we should think like we are data in it, okay, see, and write the code such a way that it will be under understandable code. Okay. So, got the point, huh? now create table. So, table name, tell me what is this? This is table name. What is name? Gender, year of birth. These are called as what? Columns. Column columns. Names. Column names. Column names. What is number? Worker. These are called as what? These are data, data types. types. Data types. Which type of data we are trying to show in the particular column? What is 30? Tell me. 30 is what? Nothing but called as? Action number Where, of characters. Uh, length of the characters. Okay. So data length or column length. So in the sense like what? Up to 30 characters, we can able to accommodate this name. Okay. We'll see why we're not putting. We'll see. Okay. See, this is the table name, column names, data type, and the data size or data length or column length. Okay. Go back here. Now what we should have? One database. So before that, we should have one snowflake account. It's a SAS model. Then we should go for Cobin database like this way. Because no, tell me, do we need to install? No need to install anything. Okay. Now, what is the UI we're using? You're using Snow Site. Okay. And which type of edition we are using? Enterprise edition. Enterprise edition. And what is the cloud we're using? Uh, cloud? AWS. AWS. Okay. Like, okay, you should understand. Okay. So Snowflake, your account. So Snow Site, you are working. Enterprise edition. Snowflake, AWS cloud, you're using. Okay. Copy the same thing. Now try to execute. This is what statement? This is. DDL data definition 
language. Copy the same thing. Now try to go to our application. Okay, see database. Now tell me, I want to see list of tables in the particular database. How can you see? By using which keyword? Show. 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 So no, in this table, you should go for show tables. Table. Tell you. Okay, so now there is no. Now try to use control enter. See control. Now table has been created. Now see. Okay, like this way, I can replicate it. Now tell me, I want to see this data. How can I see by using which keyword? By using which keyword? By using DRL. So data retrieval or data why that is select statement. Select star from table. Now see, now we're getting, now see, okay. Now suppose like I want to see the definition. Okay, so we'll go for select them, get underscore DDL. So we should mention, so table under table name. Okay, so table name. Okay, see, suppose like, Somebody created this table. Okay, so okay, I want to see the definition of this table. Suppose like this table definition I want in, we should make so get DDL table table name. Now see the same thing. Now create a same thing. Okay, copy this one. So reset the same thing. You know, see, so this is the so table. So creator replace. So if you want to get the definition, so see create or replace table, table name, or else we'll go for describe table, so table name. It will give list of column C. Okay, see the same thing. So name, gender, year of birth, date of birth, port ID. Four. We'll see the same thing while getting 166. Okay, as no understand, first you should be understand with this UI. Okay, so when you open like this, so click plus symbol, SQL worksheet. Okay, now first we should create one database, one schema. Okay, schema. Now what happened? I want to see list of Go for show tables. Now I want to see the definition. Okay, see, suppose like I want to see the columns. Okay, data. Then we should go for select star from table. Now this is fine. Now what happened? Suppose like, now tell me how we are logging to the application. By using which command? By using, by using what? By using phone number. Now I want to add a phone number. Tell me how can I add a phone number to the existing table? We should make so what command? Alter command. Alter command or alter statement. Alter table. So table name. I want to add a new column. Add phone number data type. Tell me where it will get added at the last. End, end of the table. At the end, end of the end of the see what happened. Now suppose if I want to the columns, we should make so describe. So table. Describe so table. Table name. table name. Okay, tell you same. You'll see this what is this thing as well. Understand. Okay, so get the point. So now if I want to get the definition, we should go for select get underscore DDL bracket table, open table. bracket. So it's a table table object. We should mention table. If it is a view, we should mention view. Okay, it's a table. We should get the definition. We'll get the same thing. Okay, so try to create a table, select the data like this way. You can able get now. Suppose if I don't want the table, then go for drop table table. Now see now if select now, what will happen? So see, does not exist. Okay, see, creation, altering, drop like this. Understand this concept. Same thing. Now I try to open one more application, simple application, pathway. So like this, you should understand. Like there's so many use cases. Same thing will happen. Okay. So go back here. So remember, everything will be stored in the database in the format of tables. Now I want to create new connection. So see, now suppose like I'm going for Praveen. Something like Surat, Surat. So pin code something like no contact number, something like this. Now tell me, now when I click on this, what happened? Data will be stored in where? In the database table. Now this is what data for name? What's the data for name? Name is what data? Now before that, tell me, what's the table name? Can you give for this use case? Table name? Oh, customer registration. Which registration? There are so many registration. Which registration is? Customer, a broadband customer registration. So first we should like there's so many things. Okay, we should mention the okay. like pathway. Okay, see pathway. Okay, okay, so okay, so we should be precise. Okay, see create. There are so many registration. No? Like so many where. Okay, so okay, so there are so many where. create table pathway pathway connection. Okay, registration underscore t. So bracket open, bracket close, semicolon. Okay, tell me what is the name data type? Name is what? Say what data type? Where care, where care, where care, where care to anything. We'll see what exactly. Okay, where care. Next is that word. What about the city? City is what? Where care. It's a where care. Same thing. 
what about this area? Area is also where can. Okay. Same thing. Now go back here. Now what is pin code? Pin code is what it is? Int. Say int. Number. Okay. Int or number. Int or number. Okay, so pin code. So pin code, it's a number. Same thing. What about the other value? Okay, now contact phone number. number. It's yeah. a phone number. Contact number is nothing but what? It's called as what? It's a what? Call. It's a number. 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 Number, on, number, on, number, on, number only. Yes, no. So this is the table name. So column means bar care. First, we should have one Snowflake account. It's a SaaS model. No need to install any software or any hardware. So we are going for SnowSite UI. Then we are going for which edition? Enterprise edition. Enterprise, Enterprise edition. edition. Okay, now what happened? We are using which cloud? We are using AWS. AWS cloud. Okay, so data will be in AWS cloud. Next step is that what? Next step is that what? Now we should have one development database and development schema. Development then, database or development? Uh, database development schema table should be created. So before that, what happened? Now we should have one. So we are Snowflake developers or data engineers. Now how the requirement comes to us? By using what? By using Zira ticketing tool. Okay, so Zira ticketing tool. So before that, what happened? Daily will have what? We'll have Scrum call like this. Way. Okay, Scrum call like this. If you type now, it's a simple and easy. Okay, Scrum call. So Scrum master will be there. Okay. Stand up call. So all the guys will be there. Then what happened? So Scrum master will send there. So tickets to us to work on these things like this. If you type no, like okay, it can be easily understand. Okay, so Scrum call, Scrum master tickets, all these things. So clear so far. Getting a little bit at least. Yes or no? Yeah. Getting okay. See like this. Okay, so like okay, so like today also like we'll one hour, like two to three days we'll have one hour. So going for once you're comfortable, go for one and a half hours. Okay. So first be comfortable. Okay, first to create one Snowflake account. Okay, so this is important. So first understand what who are we? We are Snowflake developers or snowflake data engineers data engineer. engineers okay see now we should have what we will mainly work for data migration project okay so migration project if you see this use case so same thing like we go here okay okay so assume like so data migration project our source is oracle suppose like tell me what the database object we are trying to migrate it will be tables of this views of that functions and procedures 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 okay, okay process okay now so assume like my data source is what my data source is oracle oracle okay so oracle database data suppose like we are having okay see so 500 tables are there then 50 50 views are there then suppose like okay so 20 functions and 20 procedures. Okay. Tell me data migration is nothing but what? So this all this database objects. So it depends on requirement. So this database tables views functions and process need to be migrated into Snowflake according to the Snowflake standard, according to Snowflake data type and Snowflake functionality. Got the point. So same thing now what happens? See, so we are having the phase one. In the phase one, we'll have sprint. Tell me what sprint? Sprint will have how many weeks of sprint will have? Mostly. So two weeks or four weeks. Or one month, like mostly like two weeks or so. Rich. Okay, now in the sprint planning, what happens? Scrum master will be there, scrum call, all the team members, developer, testers, BS, we are following agile methodology. So see what happens, sprint planning. So see what is the sprint planning? So create following oracle table structure and data in the snowflake dimensions and maintain the code in version control after necessary testing. So in the sense like what? So we should migrate what? We should migrate this entire data into Snowflake according to the standards of Snowflake. This is about data migration process. Why company are moving? Because of, tell me, because of huge volumes, cost cutting and performance. Getting a little bit at least. So see, this is the thing we should do. Okay, so take this data and put it into Snowflake. So these are things. Okay, slowly understand what? Now tell me why we are doing, why we are learning SQL? What is the purpose of SQL? It is intermediate connection between our on-premises data to our cloud. So if you want to connect with Snowflake by using SQL, we are trying to communicate. So now what happened? So by using, by now how the data will be stored in Snowflake in the form of tables. Tables nothing but mm -hmm. columns and rows. Okay, see DDL, DML, TCL, DRL, and DCL. Okay, so these all things you should be familiar. Right now what we are seeing today, we are seeing only, so DDL and DRL. Okay, so create, yeah. alter, under drop under DLS admit says select statement or data retrieval or data query line. Okay, so slowly we should learn step by step. Okay, clear so far. End of session of n one. Okay, so that's what okay. So try to create one snowflake account. So try to create some some domain. Okay, I'll create some task. Okay, see. 
So tables, I try to create. Okay, see. So I should create these tables. Okay, I'll see these tables. Okay, and you need to create these tables. Okay, see. I'll get these tables. You should create this. This is your task. Okay, and one more thing. So see what happened. Okay, see the same thing. Okay, so creation of table. Okay, now we need to give proper naming to the tables and column. Okay, spelling mistake should be avoided. Coding elements nothing but see. So we should follow coding element. So semicolon should be there. Okay, so write in Notepad plus plus. Okay, why? Because so okay, see we can able suppose like if I open Notepad plus plus, suppose like bracket open. Now see what happen. We can able to easily understand. So bracket open. So this is the extra bit. That's why always write in Notepad plus plus. Follow the coding standard. Follow the naming standards and should be like spelling mistake should be avoided. Okay, so whenever writing anything, follow like this. So clear so far. End of session one.